In this video, we discuss surgical tips for the inverted ILM flap technique used in the treatment of macular holes. In this case, shared by Dr. Felipe Lucado from Salvador, Brazil, we observe a pars plantar vitrectomy performed on a 50-year-old woman with an idiopathic extra-large macular hole, as classified by the close study. The surgery was planned with the use of the inverted internal limiting membrane flap technique. The procedure begins with a core vitrectomy followed by induction of posterior hyaloid detachment. Since the patient is relatively young and has an idiopathic macular hole, it is essential to perform this maneuver slowly and in a controlled manner, anticipating potential areas of vitreomacular adhesion in the periphery to avoid iatrogenic retinal breaks. The ILM peeling is initiated on the temporal side. The surgeon creates a flap at this location and then changes the direction of the peeling so that the temporal side folds over the nasal side. He then enlarges the peeled area by carefully outlining the edge of the macular hole and the inverted flap area. Note that, at the end of the peeling and trimming steps, a small flap remains adhered to the inferotemporal edge of the macular hole. It is crucial during the fluid air exchange to maintain aspiration in the supranasal quadrant so that the direction of flow generated by the vacuum of the vitrectomy probe helps keep the flap positioned over the macular hole at all times. If the surgeon performs the fluid air exchange with the probe on the temporal side, it may become difficult to reposition the ILM flap over the hole by the end of the case. Additionally, the fluid air exchange should be performed slowly and with low vacuum. This minimizes the risk of dislodging the flap from the margin of the hole and having it float freely in the vitreous cavity. This patient achieved an excellent anatomical outcome, with hole closure after surgery and functional visual improvement from count fingers to 2050.